Hey, it's me, Leo, currently. Okay, um, I am still not feeling well, but I have been catching up. Um, I have watched Christina's Eviction. That's the next video. Um, we're gonna go through David's exit. The highlights. David is still sick. Gemma thought that John is not happy about Gemma and is bitching about her to Angie. Angie tells John that she's a dreadful piece of work, and John says that Gemma's a monster. Society in the diary room. He's worried about Jeremy because of his relationship with Stephanie, and it's bothering the house. Tiffany really believes that said ghost is an aggressive entity because she was attacked twice in the previous night by the ghost. So Tiffany thinks the house is haunted. David gives more advice to Jeremy, saying that, uh... What he's doing with Stephanie is not the right move for him. David told Jeremy that he's making the worst decision in his life. Before Stephanie returns to the house, Big Brother gives Stephanie a stern talking to over what happened in the diary room the previous night with the threatening language towards Gemma. John goes on with crocodile tears. I'm sick and tired of the crocodile tears. John can't take it anymore in the house because of Gemma and... Not one fucking tear was shed. Jen, Stephanie rejoins the house. Christina doesn't want Stephanie to get to attack at Gemma just yet. John called Gemma a disgrace. David goes into the diary room. He's bewildered. The house has gone into a war with each other, and Stephanie needs to see reality. Gemma wakes up. Stephanie and Jeremy hugs. Gemma asked Stephanie to be quiet when Stephanie went on to a rant with her. Stephanie called Gemma a bully. Tiffany reassures Gemma that Gemma's opinion on Stephanie is doing... What Stephanie was doing is wrong, and most of the house agrees with Gemma. Stephanie to Megan. Stephanie to, and Megan talk in the bathroom. There's no turning back now. Stephanie said that she fucked up everything up. Megan suggests to eat... Cut everything off with Jeremy. Megan tells Gemma that Stephanie knows she's wrong and that Stephanie is talking about it, taking it out on Gemma. Megan called John a pussy and ass licking, <laughs> which is true. John, uh, John in the diary room, he feels that drained because he has not slept in the previous night. So hasn't Angie, so hasn't Gemma, so hasn't like the rest of the house. Crocodiles, more crocodile tears in the diary room. And I, John and Gemma have not talked about John's snake-like ways. And Gemma's, like... And Gemma being the new alpha. For now. I don't, last night's highlights, Gemma's alpha is wearing off on them. It's, like, wearing thin. So, yeah. We need a new alpha pretty soon. Tiffany is given a task to earn a pampering session... With her and a housemate of her choice, her secret mission is to spread fake rumors with various housemates. She told Megan that she caught Chris masturbating. She told Darren that Jeremy wanted Angie to leave because her face smelled like corn chips. She told John that Scotty T has a thing with Stephanie, and to Angie, Tiffany had a thing with Scotty T. And Angie was like, it's obvious, and it's a good thing! <laughs> And then to Gemma, Tiffany told Gemma that John stuffed his crotch with socks. Big Brother does let the housemates know about Tiffany's secret mission a while later. And Tiffany chose Angie to be pampered with. And when they cut to Gemma, I was like, Gemma really wanted that pampering session. <laughs> Gemma is in the diary room. She starts crying and feels claustrophobic. She wants... I still believe Gemma really wanted that pampering session that Tiffany gave Angie. She doesn't appreciate what Stephanie said to her, and David is still sick in the spare room. 
Stephanie and Christopher are using bronzer, but it's, I, I felt like a black face mask. It made me cringe a little bit. Gemma felt disappointed by Darren because Darren didn't ask Gemma if she was all right in the morning. David apologized in Gemma, to Gemma, and he still feels grateful for uh, what Gemma for Gemma sticking up to him at the killer nominations. Stephanie apologizes to Gemma. Gemma wants to know what bugged Stephanie. It wasn't like it really wasn't just Gemma talking about Stephanie and Jeremy. David is then shown in the spare bedroom packing his bags. Angie is trying to get some sleep. Sky T. How many times he had sex in the past year? David then goes to the dairy room, tells Big Brother he's so sick he can't continue on in the house. Housemates don't get notified until Monday. Which we'll see in the highlights. Which we saw last night in the highlights. Stephanie and Jeremy kiss in the storeroom. Stephanie covered the camera with her hands. Big Brother's like, well, Stephanie, please stop. Please uncover her hands, hands from the camera. Chris, Gemma, Angie, and Megan are trying to sleep in the bedroom while the rest of the house is partying. Angie packs her bags again and then goes... Press the diary room button. Then climbs up the stairs to the main entrance. And then the Big Brother's like, well, Angie, please go to the diary room. And then Angie tells Big Brother that she wants to leave now, again. Demands her belongings. Bangs on the diary room door. Turns off the diary room lights. Angie can't sleep still. And then she called the she called Big Brother the Big Brother and the housemates pathetic copulous whores. And then let's get onto bots. Ryland and Panel talk about the housemates being sleep deprived. Nancy said that most of the housemates were acting when she was in the house. There is a test concerning the younger housemates based on of Facebook comments and the BB UK like page later this week, so so please do that. Riley talks with a sex expert about the sexual tension in the house. The sex and expert is not impressed with Jeremy and Stephanie because Stephanie keeps doing the same things and expects different result, different result results, and she displaces the responsibilities. The sex expert likes Megan Sky T's relationship, but they're Taking it slower than the rest of the house, i.e. Stephanie and Jeremy. Some exclusive. John and Christina keep bitching about Gemma. John has said that Gemma has ruined his Big Brother experience. Big Brother lets housemates know that David has left the house due to medical reasons. And then Scotty finally got to touch Megan's breasts. Ruth and Amy got to talk to the nominated house loved ones of the housemates' loved ones via telephone. And I, this was funny, I was expecting Sister Patterson, Tiffany's mom, to fucking call, uh, to be, to be called on for, uh, for this, to, for the loved ones thing, but Frenchie was, Frenchie got called. Frenchie was called, and it was hilarious, because she was like, hello, bitches! <laughs> you know, Frenchie. Okay. We already know that Christina is evicted. I will cover that in the next video. See ya.